Teacher Shell Learning Resource Channel. Let's read stories with comprehension check. Ali and the Magic Carpet One very hot day, Ali finds a carpet in his uncle's shop. What's this? Suddenly, the carpet jumps. It moves and flies off into the air. Hey, what's happening? A loud booming voice comes from the carpet. Welcome, O oh Master. I am a magic carpet. First, they fly high up into the sky. And then, they land in a jungle. It is hot and wet and it's raining. It's raining. Then, they fly to the desert. It is very, very hot and dry. It is very, very hot today. After that, they fly to the South Pole. There is lots of ice and snow. It's freezing. Brrr. Where are we now? I can't see. In the mountains. Can you see me? It's very foggy. Then they fly to a forest. It's very windy there. Oh, it's windy in the forest. Then they fly to an island in the sea. There is thunder and lightning. Ugh, let's go home. What a storm. Finally, they fly back home. The carpet lands in the shop and Ali gets off. Wow! What an adventure! Your turn to read, kids. Good job! This time, let's answer the question from the story. Number 1. What does Ali find in his uncle's shop on a hot day? A. A book B. A carpet C. A toy
You're right. The correct answer is letter B, a carpet. Number two, what surprising thing happens to the carpet when Ali discovers it? A. It talks. B. It jumps and flies. C. It changes color. Very good! The correct answer is... Letter B. It jumps and flies. Number 3. Where do Ali and the magic carpet first land after flying high up into the sky? A. Desert B. Jungle C. Mountains You're right! The correct answer is Letter B. Jungle Number 4. How does Ali feel about the weather in the jungle? A. Hot and dry B. Hot and wet with rain C. Freezing with ice and snow You're right! The correct answer is Letter B, hot and wet with rain. Number 5, how does the adventure end? A, Ali gets lost. B, they get stuck in the fog. C, they fly back home. You're right! The correct answer is Letter C. They fly back home. How many scores did you get? Wow! That's a good job! Let's now proceed to the next story. A Merchant and His Donkey One beautiful spring morning, a merchant loaded his donkey with bags of salt so he can sell the salt. The merchant and his donkey were walking along together. They had not walked far when they reached a river on the way. Unfortunately, the donkey slipped and fell into the river. As it scrambled up the bank of the river, it noticed that the bags of salt loaded on his back had become lighter. There was nothing the merchant could do except return home, where he loaded his donkey with more bags of salt. As they reached the slippery river bank again, the donkey fell into the river, this time deliberately. Thus, the salt was wasted again. By now, the merchant knew the donkey's trick. He wanted to teach the animal a lesson. As he returned home the second time with the donkey, the merchant loaded bags of sponges on its back. The duo set out on their trip to the market a third time. On reaching the river, the donkey very cleverly fell into the water again. But now, instead of the load becoming lighter, it became heavier. The merchant laughed at the donkey and said, You foolish donkey, your trick has been discovered. 
you should know that you cannot fool anyone too many times. Your turn to read, kids. Good job! This time, let's answer the questions from the story. Number 1. What did the merchant load on his donkey to sell at the market? A. Bags of sugar B. Bags of salt C. Bags of rice You're right, the correct answer is letter B, bags of salt. Number two, what happened when the donkey fell into the river the first time? A, the bags of salt became heavier. B, the bags of salt became lighter. C, the donkey learned a lesson. The correct answer is Letter B The bags of salt became lighter Number 3 What did the merchant do when he realized the donkey's trick? A. Sold the donkey at the market B. Loaded more bags of salt on the donkey C. Loaded bags of sponges on the donkey Right, the correct answer is Letter C Loaded bags of sponges on the donkey Number 4 What did the donkey do when it reached the slippery riverbank the second time? A. It walked carefully across B. It deliberately fell into the river C. It refused to move
You're right. The correct answer is letter B. It deliberately fell into the river. Number five. What happened when the donkey fell into the river the third time with bags of sponges? A. The sponges soaked up water and became heavier. B. The sponges floated on the water. C. The donkey swam to the other side. You're right. The correct answer is letter A. The sponges soaked up water and became happier. Number six. What lesson did the merchant want to teach the donkey? A. Swimming is fun. B. Don't trust the river. C. Don't play tricks. You are right. The correct answer is Letter C. Don't play tricks. How many scores did you get? Wow, that's a good job! Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button to be notified on our next episodes. Goodbye kids!